I'm James Solkowski. In this free art lesson, we're going to talk about how to paint velvet. Velvet is an entirely different kind of a texture than silk, satin, cotton, or anything else. So, thought it might be interesting to discuss the properties of this material. So, I have a piece of red velvet here on this table. So, we'll just put a line here for a table edge. And we'll put the cloth right up, falling up right off the table here. Just grab a, a nice big fold like this. This is a lizard crimson that I'm drawing with. Okay, so I have cadmium red light, cadmium red medium, cadmium red deep, and I've got alizarin crimson, black, and titanium white. So let's start by taking a middle tone, a middle red, and I'm going to put just a little wee bit of gray in there just to kill the intensity of that red. And we'll put it on the top plane which is, you know, the material on the top of the table. Just keep it flat and keep it simple. <coughs> and then we'll take a dark, <coughs> a dark red. Let's put some alizarin and cad red deep in there together. And I'm going to take some dark gray that I made, and some black and white in there. <coughs> and then we're going to just mass this in. Just, just cover the canvas. Keep it simple. Always keep it simple. See, as we study this velvet, the, the light, the, the characteristic really of this material has to do with the light just running along the edge. In, in that way, it's sort of similar to satin. Um, the highlight will run along the, the edge of the fold. So let's just cover all of this. So I have a big brush here. This is an inch and a half wide. <coughs> Filbert. This is a, a nice shadow for a fold that's coming down this way. And we'll fold back that way. We we'll cover that whole canvas. I'm doing it this size so we could see it. Okay. See, top and bottom, top and side, that's the two planes there. See the lights coming this way. Okay, now, let's get some more red, some of this medium red, and a little bit of the medium gray, same value gray, <coughs> and build this up again. And this is falling off the table edge like this. This is another texture you'll see in costumes of the portraits of the 18th and 19th century, 17th century. I did, a, did some paintings of that period. I did some portraits with people in costumes from the 1850s and they had this velvet effect. See, so there, and it's also very soft. The, the modeling from the shadow into the light here, it's a very soft edge. It's not sharp like like uh, satin or silk, but this is very soft. So 
keep that in mind. And squint your eyes when you paint. We can see better when we squint. <coughs> okay, I'm going to go for some shadow again. Here's my alizarin. I can put ultramarine blue in that if I want to, to make a deep, dark, it's like a violet. So let's put a shadow in there like that. I see a shadow here. I think when you paint material, just grab onto a couple of big folds. Keep the brushwork big, you know. We don't want to get fussy when you paint material. Be bold, you have to be bold. <clears throat> Okay, all right, now we're saving the light, even before I put any light on, I want to get some more of this dark shadow, so here's the alizarin again with the ultramarine blue, <clears throat> I want a nice shadow behind this big fold. Okay, keep that soft. So, see there's a reflected light coming up under this fold right there, which we'll get to that, <clears throat> but we'll do the light. We'll build some light now. So let's go to the light reds. There's cadmium red light. We'll throw this in here. Just catch the edge. Really, I'm, I'm painting what I see here. I mean, once we analyze it, you know, we talk about the characteristics of the material. You know, the material, we paint what we know, but we paint what we see also. So. This comes right along here. like that. See right on, along the top of that fold. So the, along the edge here we'll pick up some light. And we pick up light here. Just on the top, just the top edge of the fold. There's a little bit of light, I think, will we'll make it come down here. <clears throat> now, let's see, we could go even lighter. We could take orange in the lightest light. I think, you know, some of the those coats were the, uh, the hunt scenes. That's those famous old hunt scenes when the riders would wear red velvet jackets. We call them pink coats. I think that would be the same quality. <clears throat> now let's add a little bit of white to that orange and red and put that even on top of this like that. But it's not it's not real bright like satin. You know, it's, it's a softer light.
Let's take a reflected light. Here's a reflected light coming in on that velvet. So it could be a red. Oh, let's see. It's, yeah, let's put a little gray in it, though. Cool it off a little bit. The reflected light should be a little cooler than the main light. See, so it'll go right under that fold like that. Then there's the dark right, right there again. Now finally, let, let's just get a darker red. See, I, can, I have this whole range here. Cad red deep with a little alizarin maybe. Just throw that back here. As that goes back. <clears throat> and those are the characteristics of velvet. So thanks for, thanks for joining me today. I'm James Solkowski. Please check out my website at jamessolkowski.com and like look at my DVDs. Thank you.